Today, my dear sewing friends, I'm sharing with you my method. It is more detailed and I truly believe that this is a better way how to take your t-shirt, copy that and turn it into a pattern that then you can use time and time again. I'll guide you step by step what I do, why I do it. I'll share with you some extra tips and tricks so that way you can get the best result ever because I truly believe that if I can do it, then you can do it for sure. It's really straightforward. So without any further ado, go ahead and grab your favorite t-shirt that fits just right, not too tight and not too loose. You can tell I'm a Harry Potter fan. Go ahead and fold it in half and let's get started. I am using a roll of medical paper that I use for pattern drafting, but of course, if you don't have any, just use a regular printer sheet that you have taped together. First, I'm gonna go ahead and fold my paper in half. Now go ahead and take your t-shirt and place this center fold right on the fold of my paper. If you have a ruler, grab it as well because this will make your life so much easier. And then another thing is in a lot of different tutorials, you will see that people turn their t-shirt wrong side out in order to be able to mark the seam allowances right away. However, in my case, I find it that it is a lot easier and makes a lot more sense to mark seam allowances after. So right now, we're just actually going to be copying the t-shirt as it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with a shoulder seam. There we go. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and mark the back neckline. Take a look, I'm not marking it where the end of the neckband is at, but I'm actually marking where the seam is between the garment and the neckband. And I'm gonna go ahead and do exactly the same thing for the front neckband as well. And then of course, we're gonna go ahead and mark the bottom of our sleeve. And then we're gonna go ahead and mark the side seam. There we go, and the bottom as well. Now I'm gonna go ahead and outline this in color so that way you can see a little bit better. In order to draft the necklines, the easiest way how to go about it is actually to make a little box. So from this line right over here, which is going to be the front neckline, you go ahead and take a straight line this way, and then you go ahead and you take a straight line up, like so. Now you have a small little box. There we go. And this will make it so much easier for you in order to draft a really nice smooth neckline. You're gonna go ahead and do exactly the same with the back neckline as well. One line this way. We already have the previous line. And now we're gonna go ahead, there we go. Now we have the side seam. Let me go ahead and outline this as well. And this is the bottom of the armhole. Now usually your bust line is either at the level of the armhole or a little bit below that. And in order to actually be a little bit more aware of how this is going to fit, I know that a quarter measurement of my full bust circumference is around eight and a half inches. Now if I measure a little bit lower than this point right over here, I'm going to see that it is just about eight and a half inches. Now if I want this to be a little bit looser or a little bit wider, I can add a little bit to it, let's say a quarter of an inch. So I can add a quarter of an inch to this measurement right over here, and I can make it a little bit wider in this area. Now, you can opt for a straight line down, for example, like this, or you can leave it as is, and that way you will have a slightly curved side seam. Whichever way you prefer, it really is up to you. Now about the bottom. At the bottom, my t-shirt also has a curved hem. Let me show you how this actually looks. So this curved hem looks like this. Sometimes curved hem might be a little bit challenging to do, especially if this is one of your first times sewing. Now, if you want a straight hem, all you need to do is actually do a straight line like this and then bring the side seam down. That way you're getting a straight hem. So this is really easy, really straightforward. So decide what kind of side seam you would like, decide what kind of hem you would like. Another really important area to remember about is also your waist. You can also measure your waist approximately somewhere in the middle. 
and mine is seven and a half inches so I know that this is going to be wider than my waist and you can also do exactly the same thing for the hips or your upper hips as well now do you really need to do these circumferences of bust waist and hips not necessarily no you don't however I prefer to do it because then it takes the guessing game out of it and you fully understand what you're actually working with and how this is actually going to fit now if you're not sure how to measure your bust your waist and your hips I will leave the link for the video in the info box below and there's a ton of tutorials on my channel that you can check out as well so definitely all resources are there all you have to do is just take a look now let's talk about the armhole copying the armhole from your t-shirt can be sometimes quite difficult and challenging and um, in order to just make it a little bit easier i find that we can just use a simple technique from regular pattern drafting first we're going to go ahead and take a straight line from this point all the way to the center right over here so straight perpendicular line there we go then we're going to go ahead and take a straight perpendicular line from this point of the edge of the shoulder down as you're taking this line down go ahead and mark the middle of it so in my case this is seven inches mark the middle of it which is going to be three and a half inches right over here we're going to go ahead and take care of the back armhole first so from this point take about a quarter of an inch this way to the left and now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and draw a straight line this way connecting the edge of the shoulder with this new point and then from here we're going to go ahead and draw a really nice curved line there we go and pretty much the one pattern piece is done now for the front pattern piece what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to turn this this way we're going to copy everything except for the armhole so here i'm going to go ahead and copy the front neckline i'm going to go ahead and copy the shoulder seam as well now for the armhole we're going to do exactly the same thing we're going to take a straight perpendicular line like so then we're going to take this line down like so but instead of taking quarter of an inch from the middle over here we're actually going to take three quarters of an inch now just like we did before we're going to connect it and we're also going to do a really nice curved line right over here there we go your front pattern piece is done make sure that you mark the direction of the stretch since we're going to be working with stretchy fabric so the direction of the stretch needs to go this way you're going to go ahead and do exactly the same on the back pattern piece as well so this is back the direction of the stretch is going to go exactly the same way and of course each one of them is going to be cut on the fold as well there we go all right now that this is done let's go ahead and cut it out for best result this is what you want to do first we want to go ahead and place the armhole next to the armhole like this and we want to double check the shape the really nice sort of like a teardrop or oval shape so that way we know that this area is going to look really good another thing is we want to place it shoulder to shoulder and we want to make sure that the length of the shoulder number one aligns number two that this line is really nice and smooth as well and then we also want to take a look at the front neckline as well so we're placing again same way shoulder to shoulder but we want to take a look at this area right over here now here i would probably need to adjust my back neckline just a tiny bit so that way it's a little bit smoother all the way around but all in all this is a good start so let's move on to the sleeve for that you're going to need to take your back pattern piece and your front pattern piece and a measuring tape if you have one if not you can also walk your ruler or you can take a piece of string or a string of yarn measure it that way and then place it on your ruler and see how long it actually is so what we want to do is we want to measure the back armhole and the front armhole now for me the back armhole is seven and a half inches the front armhole is eight inches once that is done put it aside just for a moment and go ahead and grab your t-shirt once you have your t-shirt we want to make sure that we lay it flat and what we're interested in right now is the sleeve so go ahead and align the hem 
like so and lay it as flat as you can. And then go ahead and grab another piece of paper. Now place this paper on top of your sleeve and what we want to do right now is you just want to mark and you can feel it with your fingers. You want to mark the top of the sleeve, the bottom of the sleeve, this bottom of the sleeve right over here and then this curve and we're only interested in this curve from the front because we're going to build the back curve all by ourselves. So what I have over here, this is the bottom of the sleeve, this is the top of the sleeve, this is the armhole, and this is another bottom of the sleeve. Obviously right now it's all kind of like a gibberish, so let's go ahead and tidy this up. First, I'm gonna go ahead and do a straight line this way. This is going to be the middle of my sleeve. Then this is going to be the hem. And of course, after that, you can adjust it at whichever way you prefer. This is the hem. I know that the, from here to here is the side of the sleeve. There we go. And then I know that this is the curve. Let me outline the curve. There we go. Now, this is the front of the sleeve. Now, what we want to do is we want to also build the back of the sleeve as well. So, what we can do is go ahead and fold this paper in half like so. And go ahead and copy this on the other side. So, now, what I like to do is, number one, we're actually going to go ahead and create a triangle. From one side over here. And let me outline this in gray. And I'm going to do exactly the same on this side as well. I'm going to create a triangle. Now what I want to do is, I actually want to curve in this sleeve a little bit better. Because remember, once the t-shirt is all sewn and especially once you wear it, the fabric does deform and the fabric does stretch out. So the shape of the sleeve might be slightly stretched out and slightly deformed. So over here I actually want to take it down and make it a little bit deeper, maybe like by a quarter of an inch. So I just want to take a deeper scoop right over here, okay? Let's see. More like this. So I have went ahead and I divided this side in half. There we go at four inches. So I want to take a deeper scoop this way and then take it this way. And then on this side we're actually going to do, actually we're going to leave it as is because this side, the back side, is not as scooped out as the front anyway. So for the front I'm going to go ahead and adjust it a little bit, like so, and for the back part I'm going to leave it as is. Again, we're going to outline the hem, the sides, this is going to be the front, this is going to be the back. The last thing that we need to do is, number one, we actually need to go ahead and measure this. So take your measuring tape, place it right over here, and let's go ahead and measure it. So for me, that's a little bit over 16 inches, like 16 and a quarter. The measurement of my front and back armholes were 15 and a half. So it is right when your sleeve is a little bit bigger than your actual armhole because you're going to be easing it in. And to be able to ease it in correctly, go ahead and take your front pattern piece, place it on top of your sleeve, and we're gonna go ahead and make a few notches. So that way you know that this spot right over here should align with your armhole. And on the back, this spot right over here should align with your armhole as well. There we go. So you have your one notch and your other notch. And a lot of times what I like to do is like over here, it doesn't actually match exactly. But what I, a lot of times what I like to do is I actually like to make sure that these curves match almost exactly. So over here, I can scoop it out even more. There we go. So that way when you place one next to another,
they match up exactly at this notch right over here. Now, if you want a more traditional explanation with all of the ins and outs and how the sleeve actually talks to the body of the pattern, what is that connection, then I will leave that very detailed video for you guys in the info box below. Now here I want to mention that if you want to double check, what you can do is you can take your sleeve and of course you can take your measuring tape and you can measure it manually and then you can double check each one of the measurements, the hem, the cap height, the underneath over here and you can double check these measurements to the sleeve that you have just created so that way you will know that you will get the best result. The one last thing to do is to actually mark your hem allowance and your seam allowance. Now I do that as I cut my fabric, therefore I do not mark them on the pattern. However, for you, that might be easier if you actually do mark them on the pattern. For hem allowance, you can leave one inch, maybe an inch and a half, depending on what kind of hem you are designating for these pattern pieces. Maybe you're going to do a cuff, who knows? For seam allowances, I prefer a quarter of an inch or three eighths of an inch, and it's really easy for you to mark them on your pattern pieces as well. Now, of course, don't forget that you're going to be using fabric with stretch, and that for the front and back pattern piece, you're going to be placing them on the fold just like you see me do on a screen. Now I won't be making this t-shirt as of this very moment but you will be able to see the made t-shirt by using this method in my next video and I will leave the link for it guys for you in the info box below. Well now you might be wondering how do I actually put this all together? How do I sew in the sleeve? How do I add the neck band? How do I hem it? And how do I sew the whole thing on a sewing machine to begin with? Well all of these answers are going to be right over here in this specifically curated playlist that I made specifically for you guys. So that way you can sew your own knit garments from start to finish. So definitely click right over here. I'll see you over there.